Hello and welcome to the next video on Flowgrithm. In this video we're going to look at the big small feature again, but this time we're going to look at how we can enter numbers into the computer, identifying the largest and the smallest number, but we're going to stay away from using an arrays and simplify it so it just uses a series of if statements. I've also been added to the program the idea that you can keep entering numbers until you enter a specific value, and when you enter that specific value the program stops and tells you you've got the, the largest or the smallest number. So let's start with declaring some variables. I'm going to have a variable, I'll call it uh, big, for our biggest number. I'll have a variable called small, for our smallest number. And I'm going to declare a, a variable that we're going to in enter. So that will call that current number. That's the one we're going to enter. And then what I'll do here is I'll ask, so I'll do an output. I'll ask for a number, so uh, please enter a number. And obviously we've got to take that in. So that's going to go into our current number. Now the first time you enter the number, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, it's going to have to be both the biggest and the smallest number. So we might as well just set that right at the start and say that big equals current because whatever it is it must be both of them and small equals current so we're taking those numbers in and we're setting because whatever happens they must be the biggest and the smallest now in this program we're going to keep going keep entering numbers until somebody enters the number uh, minus 99 as an arbitrary number so I'm going to say have a while loop I'm going to say while the current number is not equal to minus 99. Okay, so if it is equal to minus 99, we want to end. So at that point, we're going to have our output, which is going to say um, the largest number you entered was ampersand big oops lowercase lowercase big there ampersand quotes and the smallest was ampersand small and you can see here where I'm using the the ampersand so I've done that one that's it. We could do, I've got the ampersand. I'm using the ampersand to join the two strings together. So that joins that one there. That is on the end, and that's the text on the end. So that's our output. So now we need to deal with the biggest and the smallest number. So once we've took it in the first time, we're into this while loop. We're going to keep asking until someone's got 99. So I'm going to have another output here. I'm just going to repeat what I've got up there. So I'm going to say, uh, please enter. Uh, number take in current again and then I need to have my if statement so I'll do if current number is less than small and the current number is not equal to minus 99. Now I've got to do this extra bit here because if I just say it's less than small and someone enters 99 and com minus 99 and it comes into here it will automatically overwrite the smallest value and minus 99 needs to exit the program. We don't want it to every time it's say minus 99 that will then become the smallest number. We don't want that so we've got to check that it's, the current is less than small to so set it to small and it's also not minus 99. So if that's true, it's not nine, minus 99 and it's smaller, we can say uh, that small equals current. That will update that value. Now on the opposite side here, coming down the false, we need to do the opposite. So we need another if statement and we need to say if number is greater than big. We don't need to worry about the minus 99 because it was dealt with on the small side. So if the number is greater than big, assign, sorry, 
big to current. I've got a mistake in there, I can see. So this should say if current is greater than big. And that's it. Simple as that. Much simpler than the array. We're not storing the numbers. We're just we're just storing the largest and the smallest and just checking each time. So let's have a quick look at it. Declared our variables. We ask for the number. We automatically make them the smallest and the largest. And then we keep checking. So if it was minus 99, or was it minus 99, it will then ask again. And it will do our checking. It will keep doing this until and updating until, it's, until minus 99. If it is minus 99, we'll output the small. So let's run the program. So please enter a number. Uh, I'll have 10, 20, 30, minus 5, 6, and I'll do minus 99. So our largest number should be 30, and our smallest number should be minus 5. The largest number was 30, the smallest was minus 5. Now, there is one bug in this program which I've not been able to sort of work out at the moment. I could probably do it with a, with a, just run it through one more time. Let's make the assumption we went straight for minus 99 and pressed enter. Okay, it assumes because we set it at the top up here automatically, if you don't do anything, minus 99 becomes the largest and the smallest value because that's stored in there. So maybe an if statement at the stop here that just doesn't display something, so here, so if the largest was 99 then display nothing entered we could maybe give that a try and see if that would fix it so let's give that one a try so let's have an if here let's say if largest is equal to minus 99 or smallest is equal to minus 99 then true I'm going to no numbers entered and we'll take that bit and we'll cut it and we'll put it in the false side let's give that a try let's see if that's fixed that problem so we'll run it again Let's just make sure that the program works correctly. So let's have minus 5, 10, minus 99. So that should be minus 5 and 10. <gasps> what a problem. Okay. Ah. Not largest. Big. Small. One more time. Let's run the program. Minus 5, 10. Minus 99. That's correct. Run it again. Straight for minus 99. No numbers entered. So that little bug's now been fixed. So complete program. Variables declared. Set it up. Our if statement for big and small. Remembering to check for minus 99 so we don't accidentally stick that in there. And then if we don't enter anything, no numbers entered. Otherwise, largest and smallest. Hope that's helped. Uh, thanks very much for watching. There'll be another video shortly.